Hey guys, this is Juan from Team Sketch React. Today I'm going to show you Stratus Tokens, our new app that for working with design tokens and theming that supports Figma files and Sketch files. So, um, you know, every, everyone is working from home right now. Uh, the world has gone coconut and this is a way for us to, as a team, uh, just give you something to do while sitting there at home staring at your screen. So why don't you use that time to actually learn something really cool? So what I did was, uh, here I have, uh, I'm in Figma. I, we have a demo file, uh, a .fig file for material UI tokens. And I just dragged this, the, the whole file onto here and it imports it and then uh, so when you have started stars tokens you have cho a choice between uh, creating a new project from a sketch file or you can also create one from a figma file so let me show you the figma setup first of all you need to get, give your project a great name so let's call this one we need to create a project folder for this. I have my place here, so I create a new folder and we call it Stratos Tokens Figma Demo. So we have a check here, it means it worked. Then uh, comes this special Figma thing. So first we need to have the project ID and where do I find the project ID? Here uh, in the browser, uh, the easiest thing is just to go here and this is the project ID for this file. Yours will be something else, of course. Just copy this string there and we put input it there. And then you also need to create a Figma access token. And if you don't know how you, to do that, you press here and it, uh, it gives you a little guide. But I can show you, of course. What is the purpose of doing these kind of tutorials if you don't, if I don't show you this? So you go to your settings and here you can create personal access tokens. So you create one by pressing there. I have already done that. So I'm going to copy mine here and you will not be able to see it. Uh, so I let me pause and here's my token and I will blur this in the final editing of course. I don't want you to have access to my computer, uh, my I think my account of course. Uh, so make sure you don't show this one to anyone and then you just press create new project. And now ladies and gentlemen here, here's our frames inside of Figma. So I have, let's jump into Figma and let's check out the demo file here. So what you see here uh, in the frame called themes is what you have here. So here you have all the JSON data, design data that I, that I have set up here. Uh, so for example, you have the primary one color and if you want to change that, you just change it here. And it will change in code. Let's do that. Let's change it to something. Uh, let's change it to this green, for example. So now it's primary. Uh, let's check it out. It's called 449D44. Okay, uh, Figma auto saves, but we need to refresh here. Stratos tokens. Let's go there. Check this out. And we go to the palette. And here, is, it has changed, but we cannot see it. So how do we test this? Yes, this demo is done for Material UI. What you do is you go to this link and I will input this into the final demo file so you can have quick access to it. Uh, and you copy the entire structure. You go here to load text and you paste the JSON data. And here you can see we changed the primary color to this one. And if you go here to palette, you see the same structure that I have here in 
in Sigma. So if we change this one back to what it was, go like, like that. And then we reload in here. Go to themes. And by the way, this, this frame, this artboard here can be named anything. Uh, we called it themes. Copy this one there. Go to here. No, not there. We go to this one. Load theme dialog, it's called here. And I just can see the primary color change. Uh, so this is great. We have Figma support finally for this. The thing is, you need to understand is this is just a demo structure and this is set up for to work with material ui you can set this up any way you want so you set up the structure yourself based on how your design system is built uh, and as i said this this one can be called themes anything the important thing here is that you need to have a frame called start that is spelled like this like that and then you also need the page where everything resides needs to be called start here. This is classic sketch to react uh, logic behind it. So a lot of things are supported here. You can, uh, uh, the fonts you choose uh, are outputted into the JSON data, uh, color, weight, uh, size, you can do stuff like shadow effects, uh, blurs, a lot of stuff. And, uh, and if you want stuff to be uh, ignored in the JSON data code, you put this into a folder called dtignore.dtignore. So for example, here I have all the headings, for example, like all of this is not inside the exported JSON data code. And when you're finished, just you go here to the download section and you can download this uh, as an npm package and distribute it like that you can also use we have also built in support for style dictionary uh, and we will do a separate tutorial about that uh, just good to know then for style dictionary you need to structure your uh, figma and sketch files differently uh, this one, uh, things need to be named uh, in, a, in a different way. But you just, can just check out uh, Style Dictionary, the website, for how you need to structure things. We will also build, we will also make a very simple demo file for you guys. So that's it. Uh, this is how you work with design tokens and theming with Stratos tokens and Figma. Awesome guys, cheers.